Hello everyone. Welcome to Lucky Vitamins Ask the ND series. I'm Dr. Jeremy Wolf. I'm a licensed naturopathic doctor. And for those of you who don't know, naturopathic medicine is a distinct system of primary healthcare that utilizes a complete medical training to emphasize prevention, finding the root cause of disease, and the self-healing process through natural therapies. In the Ask the ND series, I'll provide an in-depth look into supplements, herbs, and other alternative health products, including what to look for and how to use them. In this introductory video, I'm gonna define nutrition and other key concepts to help you build a healthy foundation. Nutrition is the science of food and its relationship to health. Nutrients are chemicals in foods that are used by the body for many processes such as growth, maintenance, and energy. Essential nutrients are nutrients that our body cannot make and thus need to be attained from the foods we eat. These nutrients are important for many bodily processes, which is why it's important to eat a well-balanced diet that includes a variety of foods. Examples of essential nutrients include most vitamins, minerals, as well as some amino and fatty acids. Non-essential nutrients are nutrients that the human body makes on its own. Although they are called non-essential, they are still required to help support the body's daily processes. Examples of these include fiber, cholesterol, as well as some vitamins. Macronutrients are substances that are required in large amounts by our body and in general make up the bulk of our diets. Examples of macronutrients include proteins, carbohydrates, fats, and water. Think of a potato which is packed full of carbohydrates but also has a small amount of protein. Micronutrients are vitamins and minerals that are required by the body in only small amounts. They are necessary for many of our body's chemical reactions to occur, and although required in only small amounts, a deficiency in these micronutrients can have serious health consequences. So although this potato contains the macronutrients, it also contains the micronutrients, potassium, folate, and vitamin C. Vitamins can be further broken down into water-soluble or fat-soluble vitamins. Water-soluble vitamins, such as vitamin C and the eight members of the B vitamin family, are vitamins that are dissolved in water. They are usually carried to the body's tissues but are not stored. Once the body uses these vitamins, leftover amounts leave the body through the urine. Fat-soluble vitamins are vitamins that dissolve in fats, such as vitamin A, D, E, and K. They are generally absorbed into fat sacs, which then travel through the GI tract and into the body's circulation where they are stored, unlike water-soluble vitamins which get excreted. It's important to note that individuals with conditions resulting in fat malabsorption can develop a deficiency of these vitamins. Now that we spent some time talking about vitamins and nutrients, I wanted to talk about diet. In short, diet is necessary for building a healthy foundation. A healthy diet is one that includes a variety of unprocessed foods free of additives and produced without pesticides, herbicides, or other potentially harmful chemicals. A whole food diet that includes a wide variety of fruits and vegetables is key to a healthy diet. It's important to limit sugar intake, eat healthy fats like avocados and nuts while removing partially hydrogenated oils, and decrease simple carbohydrates like cakes, cookies, and white breads as much as possible. Don't forget, water is also important, so make sure you stay hydrated. Everyone's bodies and nutritional statuses are different, so do what's necessary for you. You may ask yourself, if diet is important and you're eating a healthy diet, then why take supplements? Well, you're right. The best way to make sure you're getting the appropriate amount of nutrients is to eat a balanced diet. However, this is not always possible. In fact, research has found that American adults' diets fell short of consuming enough vitamins A, C, D, and minerals like calcium and iron. Also, it's estimated by the World Health Organization that worldwide 250 million preschool children are vitamin A deficient. Supplements may play an important role in helping to fill nutritional gaps. Thank you for watching this brief introductory video to our Ask the ND series. I hope you find this video informative and helpful on your journey towards happy wellness. If you're not finding an episode on the topic you are interested in, remember you can always email me with your questions or submit a request through a professional support center. Make sure to check the site weekly for new videos as we're constantly updating the site. From all of us here at Lucky Vitamin, spread the wellness.